I am at one of my favorite places for color. I'm at Margie's Farm and Garden with Margie, and it's like, Hi. of course, it is always color here, and it's still June, and you still have beautiful flowers. Oh, we still have lots of beautiful flowers, lots of color, lots of things for your yard or garden. Definitely. Yeah. And so you have a collection here and it looks like there's some themes going on. I have a couple different things that I wanted to talk about today. Um, the first one is hummingbird loving plants. Um, we have quite the selection of um, hummingbird loving plants um, for all the hummingbirds that live here in our greenhouse. We have, we have quite, the, quite the variety of hummingbirds here. One of my favorite one is of course the kufias. This one's called hummingbird lunch. I mean a perfect name for, for that beautiful color. Um, Along with that, we have a couple other kufias. This is the Vermillionaire from Proven Winners. Beautiful, I mean, look at the flowers, that tubular flower, you can tell why hummingbirds love it. Um, this one, Drama, <laughs> Diana, is a little bit different of a kufia. It doesn't quite yeah, have the tubular, but we still see hummingbirds all over it. And this is such a great addition to your flower beds or a container because it has just kind of a different look, real fine looking. And are those for sun or shade? Or These are all for sun. Nice, yeah, nice. full sun. They can do some part shade, but they're going to bloom better in the full sun. And then I see so many different salvias and some are um, perennial and some are annuals, but great collection. We have quite the variety of salvias right now and they're just blooming fabulous. One of the new ones that we have this year is the white flame salvia. Oh, look and at it's that. just getting ready to start blooming. This is new for us this year. Hummingbirds love it. And um, I think it's gonna make a really great cut flower too. Nice. Cause kind of like the blue Victoria salvia, um, it stays really well in a cut bouquet. And for me, that wouldn't even have to open up. I love that white. It's um, almost kind of like a lavender. It is, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And then favorite hot lip salvia, which is hummingbird magnet. Oh, this is, this is probably our number one um, hummingbird plant also is the hot lips. And then new this year to us also is the amethyst. Um, lips, which is beautiful. Both hummingbirds love those, and those are both a good perennial for our area. Um, come back fuller and better every year. Um, we also do um, a lot of the rock and fuchsias from Proven Winners. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, it's beautiful when they start fully opening. Pretty. Um, so we have the fuchsia, we have the purple, um, beautiful, and hummingbird loving also. That is cool. And then for lower in the container, because you want something low to maybe spill, you have some plants here too. Yeah, we have quite a selection of million bells. We probably have about 30 different colors right now um, starting to really bloom and come out. These are great. You can put them right in your flower beds. You can put them in hanging baskets or in containers, and they bloom fabulous all summer. Um, no care. So that's going with our next theme is kind of easy care plants also. Oh, we love that. Um, I also have some fuchsias along with our hummingbird loving plants. Um, these are the little upright shadow dancers, Cute. so they fill out and bloom great all summer. These are going to want more shade. That's nice. So there's really something for everyone that has different kind of sun or shade in their gardens. We can find something for anybody here. You come <laughs> with your area and we'll find something that will really thrive. Great. Um, another one of our favorites are the abutilons. Beautiful. Um, we have, a, I think, four different colors right now of the abutilons. It's a flowering maple. Um, blooms fabulous all summer, um, keeps its leaves, and I mean it has a, you can see why it's a flowering maple, because right. it has the maple leaf, but doesn't get as big as a maple tree, so it just makes a nice shrub. <laughs> exactly, and, and um, that is really a nice addition, those bells are cool, and begonias, an old favorite. Oh, you can never go wrong with begonias, they're such an easy care, we have a, a lot of different varieties of um, begonias, these right here is one of our favorites, is dragon wings, mm. they do great in the flower beds, or in containers, or in baskets. Um, and bloom great all summer with very little care. Nice, and some impatience, which look at these flowers, they're so big. These are our magnum impatience. These are one of our favorite impatience. Um, we have a variety of different impatience. These particular ones are for the shade or morning sun, afternoon shade. They have the, you can see why they're called magnum because the blooms are so big. Perfect. A variety of color, another easy care plant. Nice. Um, very little things you have to do with them. And these are so cool. What are these little kind of grassy things? Oh, the tut grasses. These are some of our favorite grasses. We have them in all different sizes. So the one right here is the King Tut, and uh, it does great. Um, it can be really flexible for sun or shade. Um, this particular variety gets about six feet tall, oh, wow. six to seven feet tall if you really keep it watered. And it can do good because it can be a water plant too. You can put it right next to your pond and it'll even get bigger. Nice. And then I have the Prince Tut, which is medium height. 
So now if you don't want something six feet tall in your yard, <laughs> then smaller. you can go with the Prince Tut, which is going to be about four feet tall maybe. Nice. But um, we were discussing last night, so many people lost so many trees and shrubs in their yards. You don't know what to do? We'll put a tuck grass. It gets about six to seven oh, feet tall for this in. year. And you can uh, figure out what to do next. And really, you have a sale going on this weekend. We do. We're so excited. We have our vintage flea market. So I have about 45 vendors here today. And um, it's handcrafted, vintage, repurposed, antiques, just something definitely for everyone. And come in and get plants, too. And come in and get plants. <laughs> today only, we're doing 20% off all of our plants. Excellent. So that's hanging baskets, patio containers, individual ones, and we're here to help you figure out what you need. Oh, so nice. Really a beautiful time to come out because of the vintage flea and to get plants. So get really plants. a nice day to come out. So please go to GardenTime.tv. We'll click over to their website and come out and see Margie and her friends. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Thank you.